If somebody has never heard of God, do they have an excuse when they die and stand before God as a reason of not serving him? Actually, no, they don't. Romans 1 says, but God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. So the first point to be made, everybody knows the truth and they've come in contact, but they suppress it due to wickedness. Should I say some? They know the truth about God because he has made it obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth, the sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse. I want you to take a look at it like this. You have buildings. Buildings are constructed by people. They have blueprints. Very well put together. You have structure, you have plumbing, you have electricity. A person will look at a building and understand that it was construction that got it done, and rightfully, logically so. Nevertheless, you have the construction of the human body. Extremely symmetrical. Two eyes, two nostrils in the nose, two arms, two legs, two hands, two feet. And on those arms and those hands, five fingers, five fingers. On those two feet, five toes, five toes. The human brain is a complex form of eternal technology. Scientists still haven't figured out the fullness of it. Yet we look at the human body and say it happened by chance. But not this, something less complex. So ponder that. Follow for more content as such. The deadline's in two days. I'm doing a three-day class where I'm teaching on Bible prophecy, the book of Daniel, and more. Click the Eventbrite link in my story or bio to join.